You can schedule the sequence of emails, use email templates, and create conditional follow-up actions for your team, as well as specify the conditions when contacts should be unenrolled from a sequence. You can use email sequences for any situation where a structured series of emails and tasks is needed. Here are some examples. Follow-up marketing emails for new leads to help with conversions to opportunities. New customer welcome emails to gain traction with your product. Existing customer subscription or contact renewal process. Event invitations and follow-ups. Before you begin creating your sequence, you'll need to plan out the steps. Here are some things to consider. What type of record in Pipeliner should the emails be sent to? Contacts or leads, for example. Do you already have the right content for the emails? If so, have you created and tested your email templates? You could also create these on the fly. When do you want emails to be sent? In what order and on which days? What tasks should be planned to follow on from each email, if needed? What criteria should identify when a content should be enrolled from a sequence of emails? You will want to remove contacts who unsubscribed, for example. Are your users going to enroll contacts or leads, accounts, opportunities, or will the sequence be triggered as an automatizer process? In the next video, we will talk about creating sequences. Additional learning resources can be found in our knowledge base and on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions or would like more information, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at pipelinersales.com. Please make sure you share this video with everyone in your organization who uses Pipeliner CRM so we can help them succeed too. We welcome your feedback and suggestions for adding to or improving our Academy resources. Please email academy at pipelinersales.com with any suggestions.